What up guys? <clears throat> Out in the driveway today. Hopefully the uh, never-ending trailer saga is coming to a close. I uh, spent the other day out here last weekend and fixed the electrical. The electrical was, it was all weird. Uh, something was going on. I couldn't figure it out. Uh, pulled everything apart and I had replaced the trailer end on the seven wire plug or whatever and Princess Auto hooked up the wires to the colors that they said. Yeah, well the colors are completely different than what they should have been. Uh, I don't know if I bought the wrong seven wire or what, but when you hook the green wire up to the place where the brown wire is going to go and other wires, you get all sorts of weird things happening. So I figured that out, replaced a couple lights, they're all mint. Um, I ordered an axle from my buddy John, uh, I got to pick it up early next week, so today we're going to... Uh, cut the front axle out of this thing and throw it away because it's a big banana and it's uh, why my tire was rubbing. Uh, other thing we're going to do today is uh, going to look into making a box for my rigging and my chain. I got a bunch of pieces of extruded so at the very least I'm going to make a basket and I might, uh, depending on how much scrap I can find laying around the yard, I might uh, put a lid on it so I can lock up all my stuff. But uh, step one, Let's get the axle out of there. So we'll get this thing in the air and get out the old grindy cutter and uh, zip those U-bolts off and call her uh, ready for the new axle. I always find it funny when everyone has to mention about the size of my tiny shop. It's not tiny, look. It's the perfect size. <laughs> oh, when I park my rig over an inch this way, I can't get the jack out the door. It's a drag. That's why my welding cart's so skinny, so it can fit between my tires. Such is life. I'd also like to note it that it's uh, like 8.05 in the morning right now. I'm an early riser. I like to get going on stuff. Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> So, this is the minty, rusty stuff that I'm honestly leaving on. I have to uh, put my jack under here, take up the strain, pound that out so the axle drops down, and then I uh, get to cut those crusty U-bolts out, and the axle's pretty much gone. Good stuff. Time to make a bit more noise. Got her uh, unbolted. So crusty. But uh, thankfully it wasn't so bad to unbolt because my buddy John had supplied me with new bolts at Christmas for my birthday. So uh, at least the bolts didn't need to be cut off. U-bolts on the other hand, definitely gonna need to be cut off because they are crusty. So, winning. Time to get the angle grinder out. Got the axle yanked out. And uh, here it sits in all its rusty glory, but I uh, found this piece of wood in my scrappy pile and uh, it's a nice straight one and we can tell here's the reason why I gotta buy a new axle because uh, this one's got a big old banana in it which uh, was what was causing that tire to rub on that side so it's pretty crusty anyways so either way New axle comes next week and uh, slide it under there. So next project on the list is looking about making a uh, basket for my rigging right here. I got a bunch of extruded and uh, various sizes. So we'll see what I can do. Going to put a piece underneath, one on the front and on the back. I might just leave it like that, but depending on how much scrap I can find, I might actually make a box a lid that high will make some more noise. Time to uh, switch focus and get working on this. Oh, one of the pleasures of working with scabby stuff is occasionally you pull out the exact size piece that you need. <laughs> Random off cut in the shop, exactly the size that I need. Need to trim because of the wires there. I just randomly found the exact piece that I need. Using it. There's a little basket there. Keep my straps nice and soaking wet. 
with all the uh, road grime and crap like that, but I uh, don't have any plate. So, get her done. Looks like the rain's not going to stick around. Time to uh, go get the flapper wheel, clean this up. Got the old sparkle machine set up. Had to drag it all the way out here, and of course I'm uh, using every inch I got. But, uh, hey, that's nothing new for me. Always got to use every inch. Um, so, got this all cleaned up. Things are getting serious. I got the cardboard out because I got to lay on my back and uh, lap this basket together. So, should be good. Hopefully the uh, wind isn't too hard. And, uh, cause that always sucks when you're trying to use gas in the wind. But, uh, see what we can do here. Time to drop some sparks on my face. Nice box. Well, I could stop right here. But, that doesn't really sound like the sort of thing I would do. And I got a bunch more scrap crap including a bunch of bed frame. So uh, I'm gonna extend the, uh, the box up another five inches. Time to uh, cut a couple more pieces, do a little bit more welding. Pretty stoked so far. It's looking good. Well, almost done. Got the uh, bed frame all uh, cut and in there. Nice brown color, that's what you get with stock bed frame. Uh, so all I got to do is cut three more pieces of uh, five inch extruded. Like, oh God, I wish I had some solid steel for there. I might go look through my pile, but that's a lot of plate that I'm pretty sure I don't have. I could cut them out of the uh, fender liners, but those things are crusty. So we'll uh, figure that out, and she's looking good. I'm going to say that's about... Uh, Perfect time to stop for today because it's pouring rain all of a sudden. But uh, I just got the uh, top pieces in and pretty much that's as far as I wanted to get today anyways because uh, I gotta find myself a piece of steel for the top. But pretty much good to go. Stoked on that. Uh, enough room for all of my rigging gear. My stuff's still gonna get wet but at the same time it's also going to be able to drip dry out of there. A metal bin just holds the moisture in there. So uh, pretty stoked. Don't think I'm going to be able to get any paint on it today because it's pissing rain and it's supposed to start blowing 60 miles an hour uh, in a little bit here. So time to wrap it up for the day. But uh, basket's done, axle's out, and uh, I'll be getting the axle next week, throw it together. And I'll be able to uh, get that big pig back out in the woods uh, while the season is good. I also have to uh, drive that thing because it's pretty much ready to rock and uh, I've been not able to do it because of my trailer. So time to wrap up and uh, onwards and upwards. Cheers. Well, I don't think this rain cloud's passing. I thankfully just got the old uh, sparkle machine inside because it doesn't really do well in the rain. So, uh, time to stop talking to you guys and get this shit inside. Look at how much water's on my grinder in like the two minutes since it started raining. Oh, living in a rainforest. Gotta love it. <laughs> 